Hello everybody. This is Azrael444 here. And I'm doing this video recording this over a topic that I was thinking about last night because of a video I watched. And it's in regard to the time of grace and the time of the Jewish law or what they call the Moses the law of Moses now there's a certain pastor I watch <clears throat> there's several of them I watch actually but this one in particular uh, he's pretty good he's got a lot of stuff correct he's one I tend to watch a lot but there's some things that I believe he's wrong about. You know what I mean? He believes what he believes. I believe what I believe. I'm still a saved Christian. I do believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in what he did. I believe that he did die on the cross. I, did, I do believe he shed his blood to pay for my sins. All our sins. I believe he rose on the third day and he's still alive to this day. Now, all I'm going to talk about is what this one pastor talks about is rightly dividing the Bible. The time of the law of Moses and the time of grace. And when Jesus Christ died on the cross, he changed everything because before he died on the cross everybody and everything was under the time or the law of Moses or well, what they call or what I call the, the law of the Jews of course when you know Jesus was crucified that changed everything and we're under the time of grace and accepting what Jesus did for us and repenting is the only way you're going to get saved. Nothing else you can do, not one single other thing you can do is going to get you saved. But only by what, what, what Jesus did for you and believe in it. Repenting of your sins. But anyways, the... Uh, Let's back up to the time of Moses, uh, the, the, the law of the Jews, and what Moses brought down from the mountain to the Jews. What he brought down was, you already know, is the Ten Commandments. Okay. And, well, now, to fast forward, I'm kind of like going around here and there but hopefully you can follow along this one preacher I'm talking about says that we're no longer under the law of Moses today or what they call it what I call the Jewish law see but here's the thing <clears throat> I believe the Ten Commandments and the law of the Jews are two separate things Way back when, I believe the Jews took the Ten Commandments and molded them and shaped them and added their own stuff to it that they took out of the Bible and made what they, what they call, what I call Jewish law, or what they call the Law of Moses. But for the Ten Commandments is the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is not the Jewish law. They're two totally separate different things. And I think that's where a lot of people get confused. This one pastor, is, he thinks that they're both the same thing. But it doesn't matter because we're under the time of grace. And he's right. We are under the time of grace. The law of the Jews does not apply to us today. But the Ten Commandments do. And the reason I say that is because God said the Ten Commandments are forever. Okay, now let's talk about the law of the Jews. Some, some of the things that they, they've changed, like 
they say that you got if you're a man or male, you got to be circumcised to be saved. Okay. They say you can't eat certain foods. Or they say you can't work on the Sabbath and all this stuff like that. Well, some of the stuff back there in the time of, of, of uh, time of Moses, the Old Testament, a lot of the stuff was law. But today, a lot of that stuff does not apply, but the Ten Commandments do. And the, the Jews get mixed up the Ten Commandments and their laws and made it one thing. But there's certain parts of the Ten Commandments that they don't follow by following our Jewish law. And that is the fact that Ten Commandments does not tell you that a man has to be circumcised to be saved. Ten Commandments does not say that. Jewish law do. They might have got that out of the Bible. That, that applies to the Old Testament. And that thing about working on the Sabbath. Uh, that's another another big one. That's a really big one. Uh, several hundred years ago, the Roman Catholic Church changed the day of the Sabbath from from Saturday to Sunday. And the reason they did that is to keep everybody in sin. And through ignorance. But I'm telling you right now, what I, what I tell you and what, what you hear from me, me right now, you will no longer be in ignorance of this fact. The Sabbath is not Sunday. The Sabbath is Saturday. Now, the Roman Catholics changed the day from Saturday to Sunday all those hundreds of years ago. But they forgot to change one thing, which is proof of what day the Sabbath is. And they overlooked it, and you see it every single time you look at a calendar. When you look at a calendar, what's the last day of the week? It is Saturday. The week starts on Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. In the calendar, the Gregorian calendar has been around for a long time. But the Jew, uh, but the uh, the uh, Catholics, they never changed that. So that evidence is still right in front of our face. <clears throat> Sabbath is Saturday. God says, remember the Sabbath. To keep it holy. To keep means to keep, not to keep for a short while, not to keep until the end of the law. It says to keep. And as far as the rest of the Ten Commandments, God said the commandments are forever, and they're for everyone, and they're there forever. So even though we're in the time of grace, we are still under. The Ten Commandments. But following the Ten Commandments does not save you. That's doing what the Ten Commandments says. That's a work. Works. You're not saved by works this day and age. You're saved by the grace of what Jesus Christ did for us. Believing in what he did, dying on the cross, shedding his blood, and paying for our sins, coming back alive three days later. Leaving all that in your heart and taking it through your heart and accepting what he did and, and repenting of your sins, that's, what's get, that's what gets you saved in this day and age and the time of grace. This other pastor I was talking about, he says we're under the time of grace and we're not under the time of the, of the time, law of Moses. And we're not. But like I said, I think the law of Moses and the law of the Jews is two different laws. Moses' law, law, he carried down on two stone tablets. They were carved out of a mountain, out of the rock, by God himself. God himself carved them in stone. 
One of the other things that the Jews talk about during the Old Times, during the Old Testament, is like if you work on the Sabbath, you have to be killed. Well, does not the Ten Commandments, one of them says that you shall not kill? It doesn't say you shall, you, you shall not, not kill except for those that disobey the Sabbath. It doesn't say that. It just says you, thou shalt not kill, period. I believe the Jews took the Ten Commandments and twisted it around and molded it into just one thing and they call it the Law of Moses. But I'm separating them. Ten Commandments is the Ten Commandments. The Law of the Jews is the Law of the Jews. The Law of the Jews is not the Law of the Gentiles. We're under the time of grace. But we still have to follow the Ten Commandments. Remember, Saturday is the Sabbath, not Sunday. And God said to remember the Sabbath, keep it holy. And that one law of what God talks about, make no graven images. What do the Catholics preach to? Virgin Mother Mary statues? crosses I have a cross as you can see in my picture but that's just a reminder of my Lord and what he did for us I do not preach to it I do not bow my knees to it I do not worship it it is just there as a reminder and to also let other people know that I'm a, a religious man. And I'm not bragging about it. I'm just putting it out there. You know, if somebody sees I'm a religious man and they want to come to me and ask me some ask me some questions or help with stuff. You know. That's what I want that's what I'll do. That's what I like to do. And if I don't know an answer to something, I'll look it up and I'll figure it out. <clears throat> but anyways. I just want to put this video up here and let you know that there's a big difference between the Jewish law and the Ten Commandments, but the Jews made them all their one law. But after the period of grace is over, the thing what we call the rapture is going to happen and all of us saved Christians or Jews, all of us saved people are going to be gone. And God's going to come back here seven years later, and then he's going to deal with the Jews again. And he's going to put them back under the law, since the Jews want the law. He's going to give them the law. And he's going to make them abide by it, or pay, pay the consequences. The Jews want the law. They better watch out what they ask for. They're going to get it. And they ain't going to like it. But anyways, that's after Jesus comes back after the tribulation. But uh, we believers, we ain't going to be here for that. Well, actually, we will. We'll be coming back with our Lord. But uh, we're not going to be here during the tribulation. The beast, <clears throat> I believe the beast to be, be the Catholic Church because of them having changed the... Uh, Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday causing everybody to live in sin and not realize it so, well anyways I'm going to get off here this is almost 15 minutes so I'm going to cut this short but uh, if you want leave comments or questions if you got questions I'll try to get back with you and answer you if I can as soon as, as, soon as I can I, I'm usually kind of pretty busy but I'll make time for my questions so, I love all you people. You're all my brothers and sisters. We're all in, we're all in the, uh, in this together. So, I'll talk to you all later. I love you guys. Azrael444, signing out. Bye.